This is about and Danko. I didn't record this earlier because I just got my hands on it. And it's Carthage versus Chimeria uh, on Medusana. Now the thing to note is that Chimeria can bring step noble lancers under these rules, which makes Chimeria a bit stronger. Now for um, Trollibolly, we have six six Libyan infantry. We have uh, three mercenary Balearic slingers. Then we have two late Libyan hoplites on one flank, uh, one late Carthaginian hoplite, and one Lib late Libyan hoplite on the other flank. Uh, we have a total of six Carthaginian cav and one commander. No, actually, he's uh, surprisingly enough, he's uh, a strategist general. Uh, for Danko, we have Step Horse Archers, Step Horse Archer, Noble Horse Archer General. A front line consisting of, let's see here, he has four Scythian Hopites, a total of six archers, uh, two Step Archers, two Chimeria Heavy on the flanks. Then he has a total of six Step Noble Lancers, so uh, Trollibully definitely has his work cut out for him, but he's starting off very well by taking down ten of these uh, Step Horse Archers. When you kill the Step Horse Archers, their ammo is going to be... Uh, it's going to be depleted by 10 men times the amount of ammo that they have. So this is a very good uh, trade for for um, Trolley, and it's really paying off for him having the having the men uh, screening off in different directions like this. He probably won't be able to turn fast enough, and now he is opening up to get flanked by these uh, uh, noble horse archers and the. Uh, the noble horse archers they're firing into the shielded side of the Balearics, but the Balearics do not have great. Uh, a great missile block chance, but he is firing on the Libyan infantry here. Need to be a bit careful with his uh, his uh, noble horse archer general because he's not uh, quite as fast as these uh, step horse archers. Trolley is just going to use his late Libyan hoplites to screen away the horse archers while Danko is going for a nice around here. Trolley cannot protect all of his angles, but Danko is giving a charge to the uh, late Libyan hoplites here. And he's turning around, which is allowing Trollibully to get into the Noble Horse Archers with his general. And this is GG time. Uh, Trolley gets his Carthaginian cavalry into the... Almost into the Step Horse Archers. The Lilith Libyan Hoplites killed a lot of Horse Archers. And uh, Danko's general is, is losing a lot of men here. This medium Carthaginian cavalry could catch up to the Noble Horse Archers and just kill them off. So... Uh, we've seen Diplomat do this as well. Uh, it's almost like they forget that the Noble Horse Archers are slower than um, than other uh, lighter missile troops. And now Danko's, Danko's uh, general is straight up off the field. So these Step Archers with their 20 base morale, they are shaken. Uh, they will, will uh, get a reduction in the penalty in some time. But, but at the moment, these Step Horse Archers uh, and, and Step... Step arches when they stay start taking damage. They're, they're going to get wrecked Danko rushing in here with the step noble lancers trying to do some damage to the late Libyan hoplites But when they are spread out like this, they're going to get a bracing bonus and it's going to be very difficult to to Attack the unit effectively. It's a bit of a bug Where the bonus just magically appears on the unit even though it's spread out like crazy now the Step Noble Lancers took a bit of damage on the disengage. These Balearic Slingers are doing a great job for Trolley. Both of them killing a lot of Horse Archers. The centermost one hasn't done any work just yet, but this is going to be very, very hard for uh, for uh, Trolley. He, no, for uh, for Danko. His Scythian Hoplites, no match for the Libyan Infantry. Uh, his Carthaginian cavalry, if the charges are blocked, the Step Noble Lancers are not going to do too well to, to Carthaginian cavalry in uh, extended melee, but on the charge they are going to do well. Step Horse Archers trying to get in at the Balearic Slingers, but they're eating some javelins on the way. Late Carthaginian Hoplites doing a bit of uh, screening there. These Step Horse Archers, so close. Danko playing very risky with his Horse Archers here, and he's getting his Horse Archers caught a lot of times for it. Now he's going to start moving up, presumably to skirmish, get some volleys off on the mercenary Balearic Slingers. We'll see how they do against the uh, Step. The Khmer and Heavy Archers are going to wreck the mercenary Balearics, and with six skirmish units like this, uh, the Balearic Slingers could die quickly for... Um, 
for uh, Trolley Bully, but Trolley Bully could just rush like a madman here and probably destroy the entire line for uh, Chimeria. And since Chimeria's general is dead, then the morale of these units uh, is going to be very shaky. At this point, it's probably a good idea for Trolley to fire on the Step Archers, and he is firing on them. Because they're going to die the quickest, they're also going to rout the fastest. They have the same missile damage as the Chimeria Heavy Archers. Now Trolley is going into spaghetti lines here, going to charge straight up at the... Uh, keeping his cavalry very nice and close in support here. So that if the... Uh, if the... The uh, Step Noble Lancers decide to go for a frontal cavalry charge here. Then he will be able to block a significant amount of those charges with his own cavalry. More firing coming here, but uh, it, they're firing at the mercenary Balearic Slingers, not firing at the uh, at the Libyan Infantry. The Libyan Infantry, now we have the frontal cavalry engagement. The cavalry of Trolley is away, so we'll see how much damage he's able to do against the, uh, the Libyan Infantry. Step Noble Lancers, they are eating javelins, but also they're doing some damage on the charge. But whenever the charges get blocked, they start dropping super, super quickly. This is going to allow the Scythian Hoppotes to rush in. Over here we have the Balearic Slingers getting caught. Carthaginian Cavalry catching two units of Step Horse Archers. Very nice there for Trolley Bully. Uh, one unit of, um, of Step Lancers just routed off the field. Uh, these Step Lancers have lost a lot of men. They're getting bogged down here by Carthaginian Cavalry. At this point there isn't much Danko can do to save the situation. There is Carthaginian Cavalry free now on several sides for, for uh, Trolley. And uh, this, these Libyan infantry units are going to wreck the Scythian Hoplites, while the Step Noble Lancers, like here, one free Carthaginian cavalry unit getting into the Chimerian Heavy Archers. Now the Chimerian Heavy Archers have a 30 bonus versus large, so when they get up they're going to do a lot of damage to the Carthaginian cavalry, but still this is going to stop them from firing, and Chimeria really needs to pour in the skirmish fire to to save the Step Noble Lancers and to save the Scythian Hoppotes. Like here, these Libyan infantry are getting attacked in the rear, they're getting cycle charged, fired upon, so they are actually dropping very quickly in the center as well, but the late Libyan Hoppotes are going to rush into support. Two free units of Carthaginian cavalry, and you can see that the Chimeria, the Chimeria heavy archers didn't lose too many men on the charge, and the Carthaginian cavalry, due to lacking the mass to inflict a lot of... Um, uh, getting a lot of uh, impact damage done there, only medium melee cavalry. So Chimerian Heavy Archers are going to do reasonably well against Carthaginian cavalry uh, if they're not too depleted or get attacked in the rear or stuff like that. Uh, the skirmishers of Chimeria are now starting to rack up some kills, but they are still not significant enough. The Balearics have done an amazing job in this battle. Scythian Hoplites winning slightly here, very weird uh, shield wall formation. Here we have the shield wall bug in full effect. The units just forming up with their backs to the enemy, like complete idiots. The Carthaginian cavalry is getting defeated by a mix of uh, Chimeria Heavy Archers and Step Noble Lancers. Libyan infantry doing well against the Hoplites. Uh, Danko is doing a decent job in... in uh, decent job any way he can basically but he's, he's just getting surrounded and swamped by by melee cavalry and libyan infantry so this is sort of chimeria's nightmare situation just getting rushed by infantry and cavalry uh, it's, it's a very 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 dangerous situation to be in for chimeria because chimeria needs all the time it can it will basically never be able to defeat mid-tier swords in cost effectively Unless using his cavalry to great effect, and when Trolley Bully was able to use his cavalry, throw his precursors on the enemy, on the enemy lancers, then it's going to be GG for the lancers. Still two minutes left on the clock here, so I guess we'll see some MLG kiting from Danko in the end game. Chimeria Heavy Archers still alive, but still not getting the kills they need. The Balearics are just outclassing the uh, Chimeria Heavy Archers significantly. But the the Chimerian Heavy Archers are better units overall, but the they have been stopped from firing for a long time due to being chased away by the units of uh, Trolley, and that is why you see these Balearic Slingers have so many kills compared to the Chimeria Heavy Archers, mainly because the uh, mainly because they were uh, left alone for longer, and when left alone for a long time, Slingers are amazing. 
So Danko has these few units of Syrian Hoplites. The Syrian Hoplites actually have an amazing amount of kills here. Uh, probably in part due to the shield wall bug, but this is this is some serious killing done by the Syrian Hoplites. They're getting attacked in the rear with the general dead. They're not going to be able to hold in that situation. Syrian Hoplites are great units. They are sort of a mix between late uh, Libyan Hoplites and uh, and standard Hoplites in terms of price and effectiveness because they are very good against enemy cavalry. Now these late Libyan Hoplites are rushing into the Chimerian Heavy Archers. The Chimerian Heavy Archers are decent in melee but they don't get any bonuses against uh, late Libyan Hoplites so late Libyan Hoplites very nice units able to route the route the Chimerian Heavy Archers uh, convincingly. Getting attacked in the rear though by these Chimerian Heavy Orchards and they're actually getting melee kills. Let's see how well the Carthaginian Cavalry can do when attacking the Chimerian Heavy Orchards. Against the Spears, they're, and as against Skirmish Fire, they're going to drop super quickly. But friendly fire being done here as well by the Chimerian Heavy Orchards. And now Danko's army is about to rout due to army losses. So, losing the general early for an army... Uh, is devastating no matter which army it is but if you look at the kills here horse archers almost ineffective the Balearics just outclassing the uh, the Chimerians here the Scythian Hoplites did a surprisingly good job in part due to the support of these step noble lancers but uh, I really liked uh, what the trolley did with his Carthaginian build here uh, knowing that he would need to uh, well, basically against Chimeria, I know what Chimeria is going to bring. Chimeria is going to bring its cavalry, its horse archers, some hoplites, and a lot of skirmishers. So, bringing Balearix and putting pressure on the Chimerian heavy archers while screening away the horse archers of um, Chimeria worked very well for very well for him. Now, the surprising thing is that the Libyan infantry didn't do too well. They did do a lot of damage to the Syrian Hoplites, but because Danko frontally charged them with a lot of these step noble lancers, they took much more damage than they would have needed to, and Danko was able to pull back and pour in the fire with these guys, but it just wasn't enough. Losing the general early meant that this was going to be an uphill battle for Danko, even on Nemetusena. Strength and honor.